All right, everybody. Hey, um, welcome to the, uh, I guess, video. I usually say welcome to the show. Uh, I have this headset on a lot now. And um, Clay will probably take a little spin around here in just a minute. We'll show you guys kind of what's going on. I want to I share with everybody what's going on, what we're doing, <clears throat> and where you guys can fit as part of this. This is just so important, guys, what's happening right now. Um, all this is equipment. Some of this was we are we had already. Some of it's new. I want to show you guys. We have one, two, three, four, five, six computers. Uh, one, you know, we got one Mac, but we have all these different computers. Um, we've added cameras. We've added a lot of stuff. We have taken this little hole in the wall that is part of literally part of my bedroom, and we turned this into a ministry, and it happened. Um, it's taken years of diligence. You know, y'all saw, probably saw the Just a Messenger series. That was the very first thing I, I ever did, and that's when the Lord called me out. He told me, he, he called me out. Any of y'all that have watched my stuff, you probably know the story. I'm not going to get into that. It's all there if you want to, if you want to see it. Here's, here's the point. We have a radio program that's uh, every night of the week. Um, we also have a TV program that's every night of the week. And it's, it's synced with the radio. Now, what we're doing is we're building a new site. It's called Before the Fire. And it's going to be, guys, this is going to burn bright and it's going to burn fast and it's not going to burn for too long. We, um, during this video, Clay's going to edit into you and show you what's happening. Uh, Clay probably will, Clay and I prayed, what, two weeks ago? Yeah, two or three weeks. Two or three weeks ago, the Lord just moved on us, and we were praying together, and um, and during that prayer time, we've had just amazing supernatural stuff happen constantly. Is that accurate? Yeah, it's accurate. Yeah, it's unbelievable. I mean, it's if you go and you watch the archive videos of the show, the TV show, you're not going to believe some of the stuff that's, that's happening and the way it's happening. Um, so here's what we're doing. We are taking and we're producing a new YouTube site. We are going to take the best of the best information videos that are important in people coming to Jesus Christ at this very late hour. The hour is so very late. And the Lord moved on us a few weeks ago, said, if you do this, I will meet you at the point of that need. Guys, the very first week that Clay came down, the very first couple of shows, under this new before the before the fire ministries, we had two people, uh, uh, two different days, call in and get saved. And when you listen to what happened, it's gonna blow you away. It was the Lord. The name of the ministry is Before the Fire. Well, the first person that called in that ended up getting saved by this unbelievable set of circumstances, she said, you know, after she got saved. Uh, I talked to her uh, on the, sh what, two shows later? Yeah. Her daughter calls in and gets saved. This lady's name, she goes, I looked at the meaning of my name. My name means fire. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you got to okay, be kidding. Okay, now let's talk. What's going on? I think, guys, they're ready. The I think they're ready. I think... The signing of the the little agreement Obama did on the ninth of Ab, the day of the destruction of the temple, it was symbolic that he's going to destroy the temple, which is the human body. Think about it. He's going to destroy humanity. He's coming up. He's laid the groundwork. It's here. We're at the door. And we are on the verge of everything happening. Who wants to accept Jesus Christ that doesn't know Jesus? I'll tell you what. Whoever wants to accept Christ right now and have all your sins paid for and be guaranteed eternal life because you accepted Jesus Christ and his payment on the cross, I want you to call into this show tonight and accept Jesus Christ as your personal got that? Lord and Savior. I'm going to that call doc in five minutes. Let's pray, guys, in the name of Jesus, Heavenly Father. Bring some souls in tonight. I will lay down in the mud and let somebody walk over me. 
to bring one to Christ. Whatever it takes for me to assist in bringing someone to the Lord, show me what to do, Father, and I'll do it. Because I know this is this is for real, and it lasts for an, an eternity. Eternal connection, eternal joy, eternal life in the presence of your Creator, or eternal separation, eternal damnation, eternal destruction. Father, but you allow us freedom of choice. So, Father, I pray that I turn over to that call doc and someone is in there waiting to give their life to Jesus Christ and to accept your son. Amen. Okay. Oh, praise God. Goodness gracious, guys. I'm buzzing. Okay, guys. We have... I'm going to the call docs. I'm just picking this number. Uh, this is Johnny. I don't know what number this is. It's a lot of numbers. It says 441. Uh, can you hear me? Hello? Hello? Any, yeah, hi. This is Johnny. Uh, hi, hi, Johnny. Um, this is Yvonne from Liverpool, England. Hello, Yvonne. God bless you. Hi. God bless Yvonne. you. Are you saved or are you here to get saved? I want to be saved. Praise God! <laughs> I knew it. I just felt it. Oh, Yvonne, listen to me, sweetheart. I wouldn't believe this unless it happened to me. As your brother, I'm telling you, Yvonne, I I, I heard the Lord tonight tell me. And if you've listened to any of my shows, I don't do this I've very often. To all of them. I've listened to all of them and I've tried to get through so many times. And tonight... Here it I is. You're the knew. first one on. Ah, what are the odds? I just knew. I knew. I jumped. I jumped out the chair. Oh, uh, right. Ran oh, to the phone, and I just knew. Well, let's do it, Yvonne. Praise God, you're about to enter into everlasting life. I am buzzing so hard. I wish I could share this with you, but just hold your hands up, and here you go. Just you tell the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ. I in accept the name you. of Jesus Christ. I accept, I accept you. you, Jesus. Yes. You you go, Yvonne. Do it from your heart, sweetie. I don't need to lead you. You pray, sweetie. Oh, I'm shaking from top That's to awesome. toe. And I, I want Jesus Christ in my life so much. Oh, right. Praise and God. I pray so hard, and I I don't know whether I've been touched by the Holy Spirit or not. I don't know. Oh, All I know I'm is sure this, this is your divine. Ap- this is your divine appointment. God moved on me. And that, there's been so many crazy uh, supernatural confirmations. Clay did a banner for the show before the fire. Well, we have a guy in Australia that's helping us, and he did a banner for it before the fire. They basically could lay on top of each other and be all, they're almost identical. In two different countries, guys separately produced banners and they had no conversation of what was going to no. be on this banner. Nothing whatsoever. And they literally lay on top of each other. Guys, uh, the information that the Lord allowed me to, you know, uh, produce through me, you know, just the, the hieroglyph and the turning the stuff upside down. All that stuff, boy, it has made so such an impact now in people's lives. People are waking up in droves. We're having a revival, guys. I mean, supernatural. And I'm talking, you know, laying on of hands. I'm talking people, you know, raising of the dead, people getting saved. That's what I believe that means, raise the dead. And these people are, I mean, supernatural things are happening right out of the gate. I mean, right out of the gate. So what we're doing is... We're turning this into a TV station. We're turning it into a radio station. We're turning it into a brand new website called Before the Fire Ministry. And we're also doing an entire new YouTube thing. Guys, it's a ton of work. Um, We are devoting our lives right now at this late hour 100% completely to the saving of souls and the pulling of people out of this fire before all hell breaks loose. And we are here and we've committed our lives and we've committed ourselves 100%
to getting people saved and to informing you of the reality of what is really going on in the invisible war, you know, all the stuff I've let you guys see. We are, we need everybody's support. I mean, if you've supported us in the past, I'm asking you, please support this ministry. Um, please do anything you can to support this ministry. If you have um, a way of uh, offering possibly, you know, some kind of service that you're very good at or that you're, uh, you have contacts and networking capabilities, people that can build torrents and people that know how to do things like that. We are looking like Lang languages, different languages. languages. We need other languages. Uh, I got the Spanish thing covered. We, uh, we are looking, we bought eight different uh, URLs for Before the Fire in different countries. And because this information has made such an impact, we're expanding it and we're trying to go immediately around the world. And we bought eight different URLs mm -hmm. for different countries specifically, and we're trying to get people that are in India, people that are in Africa, people that are in China, people that it would be in, you know, Japan, any of the Asian speaking countries, and anywhere else in the world that y'all can think of where we need your help. We need you. We need you. We need, you know, look, we are all children that have been saved by God. We're all children of the Most High God now. You've been saved. So now we come together and we network and we take what has made a difference and we present it to the rest of the world to point to Jesus Christ as being the only way to God. You know, I'm tired of uh, all the false doctrine going out there and the information and the reality of the physical information that the Lord has allowed us to have. And Clay, we're going to edit some of that in, you know, mm -hmm. some of the hieroglyph, uh, maybe some of the turning upside down cheap mm -hmm. from different videos. We're going to throw some of that stuff in this video just so you can see it, what we're talking about. Guys, in the name of Jesus Christ, take us to the next level around the world. I believe we are literally out of time. I, I mean, I believe it's going to be very, very short, very, very fast. But this is what the Lord called us to do. And he, guys, he, he confirmed it in a way that was so unbelievable and so supernatural that there's no way to deny what he did. And especially the first shows that we did... People getting saved immediately. I haven't had that happen on on a on a live radio show in I don't know how long, but immediately people started getting saved. And the first person that got saved, their name means fire. <laughs> what are the odds? <laughs> anyway, and then we're also going to try and be entertaining, um, guys. I mean this <clears throat> with all this serious stuff. I mean this stuff is so serious. We got to have some lighthearted humor, you know. So that's why Clay and I kind of sometimes. We knock off and we try and make those ridiculous videos, you know, just just to make you laugh, because I think we need to have a balance, you know. We're gonna we're also turning this into a news, you know, up to date, accurate um, news that we find through all these different connections that we've attained over the last several years, and we will pull in stuff from you know whatever sites that we think is applicable, and we will make it available to you. We need your help. We need you to help us. Um, we'll put ways to contact us. We'll put ways to support us. And we want you guys to step up. In the name of Jesus Christ, uh, God bless you. Uh, peace and grace be with each and every one of you. Um, guys, we're here to save souls. We're here to save people from the fire that's coming. And it's coming. Okay, hey guys. Um, this is an addition to the, to the uh, previously shot video today. Um, it's come to my attention, um, there's a lot of people that have sent me letters, guys, that are, they're really thick, they're like, I mean, we're talking 15, 20, some 30 pages. Um, you, you got to understand the difficulty in being able to read, let's say I had a stack of those, which I do. Um, the purpose of the radio show and me doing the radio show is to make myself available to everyone and anyone that wants help or needs help, that I can in any way, shape, or form lead, you know, to the right scriptures, or or if you're having a personal problem, I want y'all to listen to me. We have a licensed counselor. I mean, he's licensed, he's, he's done it as a profession, 
He's a Christian. He's a great man. His name's Sandy Champion, and he is part of our group. Now, I am willing to talk to you personally. If we're going to dedicate one show a week on the radio, one show a week, two hours on that show, so two hours, let's say Wednesday, Thursday night, where any, it's going to be an only call-in show. I'm not going to do sermons. I'm not going to do uh, news. I'm just going to listen. I just want you to call in. I want you to tell me what I can do to help you. You just tell me what it is you need, and I'll find a way to help you and to do what I can within my power to help you out. And if I can direct you, you know, to one of our, we have one counselor that's awesome. Um, by the way, people, listen, I just want to breach the subject. But there's some people that have, you know, some addiction problems, and whether or not it's cigarettes or whether or not you have uh, pain medication that you're still on, you should be off by now. Whether or not it's an addiction that, you know, you have that you want to get rid of, you understand? It could be pornography, it could be something else. We are not judgmental, man. I, yeah, I lived a life before I got saved that I can't judge anybody, folks. I just, I can't judge anyone. Uh, but you know what, I can't empathize and I can't understand. And so what I'd like to do is, if you will call in on our two hour show, uh, if you're one of the people that has written me one of these really long letters, just pouring your heart out, trying to get some help, I will, I'll receive your phone call, and if it's something we can't talk about you know, on the radio, I will give you, I'm, I am going to dedicate a personal line, myself, a personal cell phone. I'm going to have one of these, and it will be solely dedicated to this show. Ben, I will make myself that available. Of course, it's going to come with some boundaries. It's going to come with some parameters that everybody understands, you know, I'm, I'm willing to do everything I can to help anybody, and I'm literally willing to make myself that available to the general public because I do care because I was I was the same as anyone out there that's suffering from an addiction or you know someone that's caught up in a life that they want out of and I, I know how to help you I know where to point you uh, so um, I'm gonna go ahead and get another line guys and so I'm gonna dedicate that line strictly to you and your needs and and so, um, if you'll call in on the radio show, uh, we'll work it out. Like I said, guys, this, this end of the road ministry thing that I'm doing right now, I know it's for a very limited time, but I'm going to go, you know, uh, trying to look for the right euphemism. I'm going to burn hard and bright, and that's it for a very short time. But I know our time is extremely limited. Who knows? You know, I mean, it might... You know, might have been just to get the couple people saved that got saved this last week. I don't know. But if one soul gets saved from this, if one of you come to Jesus Christ, if one of you comes, it was worth it. So I'm willing to do it. Mm -hmm. um, Kim, I'm talking to you, sweetheart. I do care. And that's why I'm actually making this whole segment to this video, Kim, for you. Because I want to know what's up. I haven't read everything and I don't understand everything, but you can call in on the radio show. We'll do another quick, you want to just add the links, Glenn? To? To the radio show. And yeah, to, yeah, we'll add Yeah, them. we're going to add, listen guys, we have TV available now. We have the radio show available. Clay is, you know, a godsend uh, technical support. Um, he will get you your links. And, you know, uh, not just tech support, Clay's a born-again believer, and he has a clear understanding of what I understand. Um, you know, he's uh, maybe an exit or two behind because he just he just got uh, where he took hold of all of it, you know, and it takes a while to absorb it all. But he's here to help in the same capacity as I am, mm -hmm. the same exact capacity. So if I'm talking to you about something personal, I can hand you off also to Clay. Yeah. Clay is also in his mid-twenties, so sometimes you might relate better to someone who's a little closer to your age. I am here to serve you. I came to serve you. That's what I'm here to do. All I'm asking is that those of you that have, you know, first of all, let me back up. 
every single one of you, and I, you know who you are, where I've gone to my P.O. box and I've opened a letter and I've just cried because of a letter you wrote of encouragement or support came at the right time to where I knew it was there's no way this happened without God moving on your heart to do it. I mean, there's been a couple times where I just, you know, was like this in tears because the timing was so unbelievable. We need help. We need anyone that's helped us before, if you would stay with us, stand with us, to help all these other people that are, you know, they're standing at the edge of eternity, guys, and, you know, if we don't help them, no one's going to be there to, to help. So, um, God gave me this gift. He gave me access to a lot of people. And I'm asking those of you that can, you guys jump on board and partner with us because it's just as much you helping get someone saved as it is me or Clay. Absolutely. We're just sitting here running this part of it. Mm -hmm. If you're helping back us, you know, uh, financially or uh, by doing other stuff like creating torrents or some people, you know, uh, have been kind enough to remaster videos. And you know who I'm talking to. I'm talking right to you, and I miss you, by the way. You know who I'm talking to. And I wish uh, all any nonsense would go away. Um, I really need all y'all's help. Because without y'all's help, all this information wouldn't have made it around the world. And I got people in other countries, guys, and, I, and I've got letters that have come in, just people praising God because they really get it. Christianity is not some nebulous, floating around on cloud concept. It's not. It's a real, um, it's a real thing. Um, when you realize that your sins are a disease that destroy you, they destroy your mind and your ability to, to speak with our Creator. Mm -hmm. Because we have a God that speaks to you. Mm -hmm. the Bible says, "My sheep hear my voice." And if you're not hearing His voice, well, then maybe you know you've. You've had that line of communication severed by the enemy. That's what the enemy does. He came to destroy you. So I would I would just highly encourage anyone that wants to wants to reach out to call the radio station. Um, I don't know what night we're going to designate to the Collins, but let's make it early in the week. Uh, like let's make it maybe Wednesday. Wednesday. Huh? We're going to make Wednesday night the standard two-hour call-in night. Wednesday night is the night. It's a counseling night. If you need help with a problem, you do not have to say on air what your problem is. Say, Johnny, this is Kim. I wrote you a letter. I really need to talk to you. It's personal. And I'll say, stay on the line after the show, sweetie. Or, you know, I'll get your personal contact information. And then I'll contact you. I'm getting a new line. And that line will be available to you and you, you know we can talk and and then I can say well you know I think Sandy Champion is a counselor that knows exactly how to deal with certain things and you know uh, Clay might be a person that can talk to you about certain things and then we have a whole group of people in the in the this is it family I mean we're a family and when you come into our family we will do our best to take care of you and when I say family we are believers in Jesus Christ, that Jesus Christ and Christ alone is the payment for our sins and that He died on that cross as a personal payment for your sin. That's it. And through faith by grace, you're saved. I don't back or advocate any denomination whatsoever. Um, I'm not here to beat up on other denominations either. I just want to show you where this beggar found bread. And I'm telling you, it was a never-ending supply of, of that water, that living water. And um, I want to share it with you. I want you to have it. I want you to listen to the shows and the testimonies of people that are calling and getting saved. I mean, guys, I'm on, I'm on air crying my head off, you know, a lot. <laughs> I'm like, I'm, you know, I'm involved. That's the point. I'm, I'm there with you emotionally spiritually I'm, I'm on the front you know uh, front line of the battle with you because I remember when I before I was saved how horrible it was and I knew that I was separated I knew I was going out but we can help we can point you I can't do it for you but I can say hey let me encourage you and let me show you what happened for me 
and let me share with you the way it happens so you can reach out let me show you what the Bible says and then you can go straight to the source and you can find what you need okay so anyway all you people that have written me long letters I'd say I have maybe close to a dozen really long ones that I can't read them all at once I'm usually driving a lot of times when I have that mail but I, I can't read them all at once because of the lengthiness of the letters so call into the show but you can explain it to me over the phone how's that anyway doing the best I can and uh, anything you want to add Clay? Just no yeah I'm just excited uh, yeah anyway uh, anyone uh, needs to make a new reptilian video about me let's get a you zoom in on the eye you should have gotten yeah. uh, you see my my eye right there did you get it I had, yeah I was a, yeah I had a blood vessel you busted up, blow up in my eye and I thought for sure the reptilian you know videos would... well and the cross thing behind you too I mean that's a dead giveaway someone thinks that this is an upside down cross oh, I'm sorry I shouldn't be laughing at no. you hey I'm serious guys I want to I say one more thing please look and I mean this in all sincerity look if you think I'm like a false prophet or anything do yourself a favor and and you know if you want to think that that's okay I'm, I'm okay with that uh, you can even write me a personal letter slamming me you can send me a personal message and say all the bad stuff but please in the name of Jesus Christ do not shut the door on yourself by writing you know uh, your gift is of the devil and all that because you you're you're walking a very thin line because the Bible says there's only one sin that won't be forgiven and that's blasphemy of the Holy Spirit so you know if all my spiritual gifting is from God and you're you're out there you know doing YouTube videos telling everybody oh this guy's gifts are of the devil then you're walking into dangerous territory and I care enough about you even though you hate me that I don't want you to do that so just chill out and find a better way of doing it without you know treading on that thin ice because you know that is dangerous stuff man um, you know just call me uh, you know just send me a message and tell me what a loser I am or, or whatever and call get, on the show call on the show and, and, and rip on me <laughs> yeah whatever and I'll say alright well typically I'm not gonna let by the way this is not an invitation for the trolls no. to come rip no. on me because if no. you do and you're rude and you're hateful I'll just say okay well thanks for calling God bless you and I'll click you out of the call doc. But uh, if you have a legitimate beef mm -hmm. and you need to call me up and, and rip on me, uh, I'd say this, let's pray together, okay? Yes. Uh, if you have an issue um, and you believe something's wrong with me spiritually, why don't we pray together and why don't we ask God together? You know what I mean? That would seem like the thing to do. But as brothers and sisters in Christ, we are supposed to go to our brother privately if you have an issue. You're not really supposed to go on there and say, hey man, you know, da, da, da. why don't you find a way through all the multimedia we have now available and send me a private message. Because most of you guys that send me the hateful messages, you've noticed I send you one back, right? And it's not mean, is it? I never really seen me send mean messages. Sometimes I'll try and make you laugh. So. <laughs> I try and do something funny just to crack you up. Try and, you know, get you to chill out. All right, well... I love you guys, and uh, uh, Clay will put all the pertinent information, you know, mm -hmm. how to contact us, how to support us, how to uh, come to Justin, we, look, we have TV, uh, we want you to log on to, we want you to log on to the radio show, we want you to go to the website, the old website, you can go get tons of great information, we want you to come to the new site, which will be a consolidation of all the old stuff, and I'm trying to deliver just to anyone the best and most concise, simple, 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 simple information to show others so they know who Jesus is. And the reality, the Bible is the truth and it is the Word of God. Yes. It is, just like the Bible said, and the Word became flesh. Okay, there it is. So, we're going to do our best. Thanks. Kim, love you, sweetheart. Call me and I'll see what I can do.